Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Are you looking for a cheap and effective survival stove? Something you could put in your bug out bag and leave it in there. Know that it's going to be there if you need it. Something that can boil water pretty easily and that you can get lit pretty quickly. Today we're going to take a look at this. It's the Ultimate Survival Technologies Folding Stove with Fuel. And at your Walmart, it's only $4.86. Let's take a look at it and see if it can boil some water. Thanks for watching. So when you're looking for something you could put like in your bug out bag or whatever it might be, you want something that the fuel will stay fresh, can be kept, uh, and hopefully can be all contained together, and that you can easily boil at least you know several times some water to cook some fuel. This stove is similar to what's called an Esbit stove, which is a folding um, survival stove. You can get Esbit fuel cubes for that. I've used those here on the channel before. You can also use uh, hexamine tablets that you can get at a lot of military surplus stores. This comes with its own specific type of fuel. So we're going to open this thing up. All right, this is what it looks like. Okay, it folds up. The dimensions are four and a half inches by 3.7 inches by 2.7 inches. It comes inside with eight fuel cubes and it says that each fuel cube will burn for 18 minutes. We're gonna put that to the test today. We're gonna to try to get one of these fuel cubes started with a ferro rod, and we're gonna to try to boil two cups of water. So we'll see if we can get it lit. Sometimes these cubes can be hard to, to light, especially with a ferro rod. Even with a lighter sometimes, they can be a little bit hard to, to, to actually light. So we're gonna get one of these out of here. We're gonna get a couple of cups of water, also in a Walmart brand stainless steel pot. I think we're gonna be doing a review on this pot set as well in the future. And we're gonna see if we can get this thing going. So obviously you guys are like me, you like watching stuff burn, and you like watching water boil. So why don't you go ahead and just click that subscribe button now, it really helps the channel grow. And at the end of the video, if you like it, give me the thumbs up, helps spread it across YouTube, and also help the channel grow. Thanks guys. So here's the stove itself, all right? You just pop it open like this. You can open it all the way like this, okay? And if you have a pot that's big enough, I don't think this one quite is, but if you have a pot that's big enough, it'll fit right on top there. If it doesn't feel like that, what you can do, which is really convenient, just kind of tilt these in until you get these close enough that your pot will fit right on top. And generally, it's pretty stable. I mean, this is of course not the best thing in the world, but it's pretty stable. I can tell you right now, you can see this is wobbling. This is not because this isn't even, it's because back here, this is a little bit bent. So I'm gonna try to bend it back into place. That's about how hard it was. And now, we have it nice and secure. These are the actual fuel tablets. Uh, these have a tendency to stink pretty bad, so it's nice that they do include them inside of this little bag. Let's see. Yep, smell fishy, just like Esbit cubes. Now, I'm sure I could Google how long these will stay fresh. I imagine they stay fresh for quite some time, but I'm not gonna Google. I'm gonna ask you guys, does anybody know? How, much, how long these last. So we've got our cube here. What I'm gonna do is, um, I don't know what that is. That could actually help it get lit. What I'm gonna do is just kind of bore, bore out a little hole here. And what I'm doing is trying to just kind of powderize some of this. And I think that's gonna be the best way to get it lit with our ferro rod. Let's give this a try. If I put this directly on here, this is going to break. So I'm going to put it just to the side and see if we can shower it. Okay, let's try something. <sighs> Getting out the big gun for two reasons. This is higher up, so I think it might reach that powder better. Let's see. Oh, we got it. Had to get the big gun out, huh? All right, so before this gets to going too hot, let's move it. There we go. That took a little bit more effort than I thought. We're gonna let this go a little bit. This is nice and stable. I'm gonna put the water on and then I move y'all closer so y'all can see the flame pattern here. And I'm also going to start our stopwatch. All right, so you can see the 
tablet really starting to take. We're starting to get a pretty good flame pattern. It is, as you can see, spreading out pretty well over the bottom of the pot. I'm going to move it over just a little bit. It looks to me like we have pretty much complete ignition of the uh, tablet itself. So two things to find out now. How quickly will it boil two cups of water and how long will it actually burn? So let's see. To give you all an idea, we are at about four minutes. Let's see what we got inside here. We've got some pretty solid bubbles at the bottom and really working quite well. So I'm, I'm pretty impressed so far with uh, four minutes on this. All right, guys, we are at, honestly, it was more like six minutes and oops, six minutes and 30 seconds. Don't want to turn it off because I want to see how long this boils. Six minutes and 30 seconds and we have lost our picture. There we go, six minutes, 30 seconds. I'm gonna take this off and we are gonna to continue to let it burn and see exactly how long it'll burn. I have serious doubts that this is gonna burn for 18 minutes. I want y'all to see here, we'll burn for approximately 18 minutes. Hmm. I don't know. Do y'all see that little thing lasting another eight minutes? Let me zoom y'all in. Come on now, that thing ain't lasting another eight minutes. It is dying, it is dead at 10 minutes. A little far off the 18 minutes. Now I wasn't planning on doing this, but this, this, this brings a good point. Does the Esbit cube actually last longer? So I have a, a typical Esbit cube here. I'm not gonna worry about the ferro rod here. I'm just gonna get this lit. I don't know if y'all can see, but I can tell you that that is lit. So let's start this thing and see how long the Esbit goes. Okay, so I can't help it. Let's see what the flame pattern looks like at the bottom of the pot with the Esbit cube. There you go, guys. See how it looks. Honestly, looks pretty similar. I mean, the flame pattern looks pretty similar. Let's let this burn and see how long it goes. So while this Esbit cube burns, we can talk a little bit about this particular test. I had a hard time getting the uh, tablets, uh, the fuel lit with a ferro rod. I've had much better success with the Esbit cubes. This is a pretty controlled environment. It's inside of my shop. It's actually air conditioned in here. So it should be pretty straightforward. This certainly should last at its optimum uh, inside of a controlled environment like this. A little disappointing that it says it'll last up to 18 minutes and it only lasted 10 minutes. I barely used any of it, scratching it to, to, to get it lit. So I can't say that the way that we started it had anything to do with the poor performance. That said, I can tell you, I don't think this Esbit cube is gonna last any longer than 10 minutes either. So let's see. We've got a pretty good amount of it burnt already and we're at four minutes. So the other cube lasted 10 minutes. We are at nine minutes, 40 seconds. And we are getting down to the end. All right, we're gonna call that pretty much done. 10 minutes, 49 seconds. So there you go guys, the latest in our Walmart budget gear series. Today, the ultimate survival technology, folding stove with fuel. What do we think? It's $4.86 comes with eight cubes. And even though the cubes did not last as long as they say they would, they lasted long enough to boil two cups of water. So you have eight cubes, that's eight times you can boil two cups of water. You also could theoretically extend the life of the cubes by putting a little bit of debris on it. You can put some sticks, twigs, whatever it might be right on top of this, and it will continue to burn for a longer period of time. So is it worth $4.86? How is it not worth $4.86? Once again, USD and Walmart come through with a very functional, very affordable, and pretty practical stove. This thing's really easy to use. Get yourself a flame, get yourself a pot, get some water, and you can use it as an emergency stove anytime. It's very compact, pretty lightweight, easy to store in a bug out bag, easy to store in a kit in your car. The fuel cubes are also very stable. 
They're not gonna catch on fire easily. They're not a big issue unless you put a direct flame to them. So you don't have to worry about any kind of volatility from the standpoint of flames. Honestly, I've owned quite a bit of the UST gear and I've always found it to be pretty good quality. For the price you're paying, you cannot get any better. $4.86 stove, eight cubes of fuel. The cubes themselves you can buy extra, I think another eight for like $2 or something like that. Buy another pack or two and you've got enough fuel to boil water for quite a while. So what's the verdict? Go buy one of these if you don't have an emergency stove. It's a good $5 spend. As always guys, I appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. The response to the Walmart series has been very good, so I'm pretty excited about it. I picked up quite a few other items at Walmart the other day when I picked this up, so stay tuned for more awesome videos. And thanks for watching Paleo Hiker MD.